Well, the holiday season is here, and in today's video, I am talking about art-centric gift ideas. So this video is for you if you like art and creativity, and you are in one of these three scenarios. Number one, you are looking for a gift for somebody, and you would like it to be art-centric. Number two, somebody else is looking for a gift for you and you want to have something to be able to suggest to them. Number three, you are looking for a gift for yourself. <laughs> if you find yourself in any of these three scenarios, then this is the video for you. If you don't find an idea, I'm sure it's going to spark some new ideas of your own. So the first type of art-centric gift idea that I have is something handmade. Now this could be something that you yourself has made or something that an artist that you admire has made. So the first example of handmade art that comes to my mind is something that can be hung on a wall. So if you are an artist who does painting, for example, creating something that can be hung on a wall as a gift is a great idea. Art can also be photographed and then printed on interesting materials, like on a canvas, for example, or nowadays you can find um, printings of things on bamboo or on a mug or on a sheet of metal. All those are interesting ways to display art. If you yourself are not creating the kind of art that can be displayed like that, Find something on Etsy, for example, of an artist where you can download their image that they're selling and then have it printed any way that you would like. Another kind of handmade art is edible art. This would be something like decorative cookies, for example. Are you somebody who is pretty good at creating cookies and decorating cookies? or you can always buy some from a bakery, for example. A beautifully decorated cupcake or something that is festive and colorful really will go a long way to brighten somebody's day. And the good thing about edible art is that it could be consumed and then it's gone and then you don't have to worry about keeping another object in your house. <laughs> Another kind of handmade art is sewn art. Um, things that are knitted or crocheted or, or sewn with a sewing machine. Here I have an example on my Christmas tree of snowflakes that are embroidered. These are really beautiful, delicate things that can be displayed as ornaments on a Christmas tree. Some examples of art that I've made are things with postage stamps. Uh, I made one piece of wall art using a letter from the alphabet that I enlarged huge on my computer, cut out, and then with the silhouette, uh, you know, created a visible letter with a black background. After that, I mounted it onto a piece of cardboard and then used a piece of wire to create uh, a hanging mount. My other example is I took a blank notebook. So the, the notebook inside is, is just blank. And on the cover, I decorated it with a bunch of postage stamps and some stenciling. The next type of art-centric gift idea is art supplies. Now I know it can be hard to buy an art supply for somebody that maybe you don't really know what kind of art they like, but there are lots of supplies that can be used for anyone who wants to experiment and try different things. This could be something like a pan paint set with a brush. Um, it could be water-soluble crayons. Um, it could be gelatos. That's, that's what's on my list. Now for yourself, I won't give you the lecture of do you really need more art supplies? Um, instead, again, I will remind you that there are things that you probably want to experiment with, and these are great 
gift ideas um, if you are looking to give somebody an idea of what they can get for you. Another kind of art-centric gift idea is books. Now it can be super easy to buy books online, but the experience that you get from walking into a bookstore, um, particularly a big brand bookstore like Barnes & Noble, for example, where you can actually peruse the aisle, the art section, and to see, you know, spend 10, 15, 20 minutes looking at titles and see what really resonates with you. Even if you don't buy it there, you can get the idea and then do more research about those types of titles, that type of subject, when you get home and order something online that way. There are books that demonstrate techniques and then there are books that are kind of like coffee table books that just have a ton of really beautiful photos that um, spur your imagination and give you ideas for creating. Two of my favorites are Rebound by Janine Stein, which is a book about creating handmade books from recycled and repurposed materials. And the other book that I like for book arts is the Make Your Own Idea book with Arnie and Carlos. This one has a ton of photographs that really give you good ideas for creating different kinds of glue books. Speaking of printed materials, another kind of art-centric gift idea is to get a subscription to something, like a magazine, for example. There are so many different kinds of magazines out there for every kind of interest, every kind of hobby. There are lots of art-centric magazines as well. There are things like Daphne's Diary, there are the Stampington publications. There's also really beautiful nature and gardening magazines that would make a great gift. Something like Better Homes and Gardens, um, the subscription is not expensive at all for a whole year. Um, and those things can serve as inspiration or they can use as materials that you cut out and use in collage, for example. Another kind of subscription is the subscription box. There are websites like Crate Joy, for example, where you can go and whatever your interest tends to be, you can find subscription boxes where once a month they will ship or a, a, a box will be shipped to your house with goods and materials uh, in whatever topic of interest that you are looking for. Another kind of subscription is to YouTube. <laughs> You are on YouTube. How much YouTube do you watch? Um, this is something that might be interesting for yourself. How much YouTube do you watch? Um, if it's a lot, you really will enjoy the YouTube experience a lot more if it's without commercials and advertising. This is a good gift suggestion for a, a family member that may be asking you, mom or grandma, what can I get you for Christmas? I don't know what to get you. I wanna get you something, what could it be? And you could say, a subscription to YouTube. <laughs> the next kind of art-centric gift idea has to do with ambiance. Things that you can enjoy that are in your immediate environment, things around you. Do you like to work with um, scented candles? Is that something that you could find for somebody else? Uh, do you like to listen to music? Who are your favorite, favorite music artists? Um, it's kind of challenging with sharing music because we're not doing CDs and cassettes anymore. It's all about uh, digital uh, music. But if you know how to create a playlist on Spotify, for example, um, that might be a nice thing to do. I know my kids are always creating music lists and asking me, mom, do you want this list? I can share it with you, right? So if you have the ability to do that and you have really good music that you like to work to, um, somebody else might enjoy that list as well. What else can be worn or admired on a daily basis? Something like a scarf or a blanket or a throw pillow or a, um, a set of 
really cool lounge pants. Uh, I saw some on, where was it, the website, Uncommon Goods for these really pretty lounge pants uh, that I liked. On Etsy, I saw really neat aprons that could be used for, you know, if you're creating art and you don't want to get messy. Very unique, one-of-a-kind, you know, items for that. Another kind of art-centric gift idea is food items. Do you have a favorite coffee or a favorite tea? If you are in the United States, there is this chain of stores called World Market or Cost Plus. I'm not quite sure which, what is the correct name for it. Um, it's a place where they have all these international foods and they have a really good selection of decorative tins that hold um, Christmas candies or mints and, and, and things like that. Those tins are awesome. There's also a bunch of tea tins. For example, you know, English tea, breakfast, English breakfast tea. Um, those tins are such a nice size for holding all kinds of trinkets. I have tins that hold all my zines, my art zines, for example. And I have another tin that holds my um, stamps in wax, my wax seals. Um, I have a tin that holds a bunch of random keys, right? All my little treasures can go in lots of these little tins. I also found a really beautiful tin in Tuesday Morning, which is another discount outlet or discount store. Um, that, it, those, that tin had soap from France. Um, so it was a beautiful tin and it had a really nice smelling soap inside as well. But back to World Market. World Market has all kinds of interesting foods and treats and those kinds of gifts are fun, right? It's fun to get something that you don't see on a daily basis, um, that you don't eat every day. So it's, it's something that's unique. And um, again, it's edible, so that means you can consume it and, and you don't have to hold it long term in your house. So I, I do like to get those kinds of gifts as well. The last kind of art-centric gift idea I have for you is an online course. Nowadays, there are online courses for everything. And probably in your inbox, I'm sure you have received offers for different kinds of online courses. So you can look for online courses by artists that you admire or courses of the art that you would like to learn more about or learn specific techniques for. For example, I do an online course on collage art and it's a, it's a basics, collage art basics, and it takes you step by step on how to create a collage um, with some techniques in mind. And it provides you with printables and the things that you would need to be successful for creating a whole glue book with collage. So these types of classes are really useful for a person who is looking to find more information or to get more in-depth assistance or training on, on a specific thing. There are online courses for all kinds of interests, of course, not necessarily just art. There's online courses for cooking and for gardening and any, any hobby that you can think of, um, any hobby that you can research that you will find an online course for. Okay, so those are all my suggestions. I hope it has been helpful for you. If it has given you some ideas of your own, please hit the like button um, and tell me in the comments if you have any suggestions of your own of really good gift ideas that are art-centric or good for somebody who is creative. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you the next time.